Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. An iCloud account gives you access to Apple's cloud storage and services, including iCloud Drive, iCloud Photos, iCloud Backup, and more. In this video, I will show you three ways to create an iCloud account on your new iPhone. Let's go. Because iCloud is one of Apple's many services, along with the App Store, Apple Music, and others, you definitely need an Apple ID to access them. So basically, you can't use your device without one. An Apple ID is your email address and password that gives you control over all of Apple's services. When you first receive your device, you can sign in to an existing account if you have previously owned another Apple product, or you can create a new Apple ID during the initial setup. Here's how to create a new account. Turn on your new iPhone and unlock the screen when it starts up. Choose your device's default language and country of origin until you reach the Quick Start menu. Click Set Up Manually and connect to a nearby Wi-Fi network as you will need an internet connection to create an account. Then wait a few minutes while Apple activates your iPhone and follow any on-screen prompts. You can set up your Face ID now or later in Settings. On the other hand, creating a new device passcode is mandatory, so enter your new passcode and re-enter it to confirm. In the Apps and Data window, tap Don't Transfer Apps and Data and then click the Forgot Password or Don't Have an Apple ID hyperlink. Select Create a Free Apple ID. Enter your first and last names, as well as your birth date. The next step is your email address. If you already have an account with another email provider like Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, etc., you can use that as your Apple ID. Personally, I prefer to use Apple's own domain, which is iCloud.com since using an email you already have can sometimes have some disadvantages. To get a new iCloud email address, tap on Do Not Have an Email Address and type the username you want just before at iCloud.com. Apple will validate your username to check if it's existing, so make sure to provide a unique email. Note that your iCloud email is not editable after it is saved. Later, you can also use this iCloud email in your phone's mail app. Providing a strong password is also highly recommended for account security, because if an unauthorized person gets it, they can buy things, see all the pictures, and more. To complete the creation of your new account, you will be asked to enter a phone number and verify its validity by providing the six-digit authentication code. Once verified, follow each prompt to complete the initial setup until you reach the home screen. After that, your iPhone should be automatically signed in to your new account, including access to your iCloud services. If your iPhone is already set up and you skip the part of creating your Apple ID, you can also configure it in settings. To get started, click the sign in button above and tap don't have an Apple ID. Then provide your personal information such as your name and date of birth. Next, enter an existing email from another provider such as Google. Or if you prefer to use one from Apple's own domain, click get an iCloud email address instead. Set up a strong password for your account's security, then finalize the creation by registering your phone number. Once you verify it with the six-digit authentication code, read and agree to the terms and conditions, and then you should now be signed in to your account automatically. Upon sign-in, all iCloud services are activated by default, so they sync to the cloud, while some installed apps in your device are optional. If you want to control which specific apps only need to be synced, go to the iCloud menu, tap Show All, and disable or enable each one according to what you prefer. Another alternative is to create an Apple ID online, which is particularly helpful if you're trying to create another account and you don't want to sign out of your primary profile in your settings. To begin, open your browser and go to appleid.apple.com. Expand the upper menu bar in the dashboard and click Create Your Apple ID. Then enter the same required information as in the previous timestamps, which consists of your name, country of origin, and date of birth. Next, set up your Apple ID email using an existing account from other services like Gmail, Outlook, and more. Unfortunately, you can only get an account with the iCloud domain directly in an iOS device. After providing a valid email, set your account password and enter it again to confirm. 
To secure your Apple ID, you must register your phone number. So enter one and verify its validity with the six digit code sent to you. Type in the CAPTCHA characters to verify you're not a bot accessing the site and click continue to complete the creation of your new Apple ID. Okay, if I've been able to assist you, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you enjoy taking photos and videos with your iPhone, please visit my website. Over the last few months, I've created a video course where I've gathered the best tips and tricks on how to make the most out of your iPhone for photography. You'll find the link to the website in the video description. Until next time, bye.